Morning class, Mr. G here going over today's assignment. Today's assignment is we're making a logo with an interlacing of some geometric pattern designs. All right, so for this project, I've taken my logo and I've laid, laid it out on a nice large sheet of paper. I think it's a 12 by 24 sheet of paper. And right now I'm just gritting out the center point of the, of the image. Now from that center point, I'm going to start putting in some Islamic geometric patterns uh, to one of those units that we're studying in my class. And I'm bringing forth some, some new ideas, some new concepts, and some new ways to add graphics and change the graphic elements that my students are creating in class. Uh, now, as I was working on this, I started doing some research on that whole uh, Islamic geometric patterns. And I got, I was interested because I love the usage of math in art and how those things relate together. Now, for me, one of those things that, uh, that was big is that you're dealing with a pattern, a, a logo design. So you have to have pattern, you have to have repetition, you have to have balance. And all these things have to work together in a, for a logo design. So using that as a jumping off point, then going into these uh, these pattern designs after that, I wanted my students to have like a, a bridge where we were creating these geometric patterns in class and using these logo designs that we did in another section of the class and how we tie those bits together. Now, going through the research of these geometric patterns, uh, one of those basic things and the reason that it became, I don't want to say it's a religious component, but it is uh, followed uh, as a religious component in Islamic culture was the usage of fee and how the circles illustrate the balance of um, the perfect integrated with biomorph uh, geometric patterns perfectly integrated with biomorphic design and calligraphy now those elements as they balance out together it shows the range of uh, similarities have now been classified as belonging to distinct mathematical groups and by basing those those understandings of how your life is brought forth by balance and how things have to perpetuate by repeating themselves over and over now in this design here I broke mine down by a point of uh, I believe it's 12 sections and so you have a nice flower petal in the middle uh, outside of that I had uh, further further broke that down by circles just to give myself a an added level outside of the main circle so that I could bring a northern piece and a southern piece in there so that way when I started going over my stencil going over my logo design I could I had enough elements in there to break up those that amount of space now there was an article that was printed up in the Guardian back in 2015 and in this article from the Guardian uh, Islamic craftsmen turned geometric geometry into art and into an art form because pictures of people were not allowed in holy places so using the using the level of math and how and and this isn't just a, a strictly Islamic culture aspect uh, Christianity has also used this as well as artisans during the Renaissance. Uh, da Vinci was probably one of the most noted ones who used it because uh, his usage of math and understanding of math and concepts and culture um, was hugely relevant and, um, and it stuck with me a lot in the way that he used the golden ratio, golden rule, golden mean, all these golden things uh, to define where people were inside the image as well as the structure of the people in the image so that you're having all these things resonate on top of each other to create much more um, impactful images. Now in the Guardian piece here, um, they were talking about how that Islamic design is based upon Greek geometry, which teaches us that starting with very basic assumptions, we can build up a remarkable number of proofs about shapes, um, proofs and shapes. Islamic patterns provide a visual confirmation of the complexity that can be achieved with such simple tools. Now, this piece that I'm doing, you only need three main tools to work with, and that's we're not talking about the Sharpie, uh, because you could do this all in pen or pencil. Uh, but the tools that you need are, is a ruler, a compass, and a protractor. Me, personally, I really don't, I like using a compass and to create the, creating these works of art, but um, from a scholarly <laughs> um, public school kind of setting, uh, spend some money, get uh, like a halfway decent compass because those uh, those metal ones and, and the plastic ones are just not strong enough to to hold up everything that you need for while you're working with them and uh, doing those designs. It, the the center piece just keeps shifting. I, I got a big problem with that. So while you're working, try and get a little, spend a little extra coin, get a get a nice.
compass, it, it'll, it'll make your life a lot easier. Um, now, when looking at, uh, now again, working on other things from, from this Islamic culture, uh, just adding to your designs, you really want to focus on the fee and how things are, are repeated in, I believe fee is a 1.6 uh, additive, fee is P-H-I, and using it as a mathematical addition, um, comes to 1.6 that is going off of the golden ratio so as those elements are, are expanding outward how you have that design now once you have used the, the sharpie to fill in all those sections of your piece uh, using use a, a really decent eraser and you're going to erase all the pencil lines around that image to where you have a nice clean image the logo is just the logo design with the net positive and negative spaces filled inside of it to create a finished piece uh, and, and again we're just using this as a jumping off lesson so that you can make other lessons in the future I look forward to seeing some uh, future projects from you guys good luck in your projects I hope you guys found this uh, tutorial interesting and, and just creating some interesting pieces yourself uh, as always if you guys have a question comment you have something that you want to share put it down in the comment section below raise your hand down there and I'm happy to answer questions other than that as always, class, I will see you guys next class. Later, guys.